Got something interesting here. You see a little logo down the bottom there, but what's this up on this other side here? Numbers. 7268275. Something like that. 375. Was it 10385? Below that, and you get another tiny, tiny little one. Up the top there, 20365, 2 slash 80. And of course, down there where your, your winder stem goes through, crown stem, um, or just straight stem as they usually call it, you get your little company logo. Um, you got a different one on the back of the watch. Again, so I... <laughs> I don't know. All I know is uh, she made in France, and it's a zoo, so <laughs> so it could be something to do with the zoo. Just a, a point of interest. Um, you have sort of like your normal watches. You'll have like Clark Gable here, which is very interesting. I've got to show you a few things with him. He's got a couple of scratches. I've got to buff out yet. Um, you've got like your glass, a case, and then you get like this thin little back. And sometimes, quite often, the case is actually wider and your back's only a little circle that you pop off. With these women's watches, you've got like a whole back half and then a whole front half. And then the guts I just showed you before just drops right into the front half and see... Like with all of these, where your winder is, it's just a hole that's drilled in the side. But very often with these women's watches, and this goes for, you know, little Swiss ones and everything. Uh, and just a lot of women's watches in general. You literally have a front half with half the hole and a back half with the other half the hole. And then you just get what I showed you before and you just drop it in and then you just drop your back half in. Um, but often you actually don't. What you actually do is you drop your your piece into the back half first, otherwise you'll never get it lined up with those that outer edge, and then you drop it into the front half, and you give it a push, and it all just goes click, and and that's that. Um, but I wanted to show you those little marks in there, and you say, well, what's what's it all mean? They're marks put in by watchmakers who have previously repaired the watch with some sort of a code which I don't even really know about that explains what they done and when they done it, what stuff was repaired and you know and what year. And when you see you know two slash eighty, you start thinking, oh, is that February nineteen eighty? I really don't know, but. Yeah, but what I will tell you is, this is a tiny, tiny little French watch. And I mean, look at the size of it next to my damn thumb there. Look at the size of it next to my thumb. And two bucks, and this runs like a dream. You put a tiny bit of wind in it, you don't need to even shake it like you do with some of these watches, and it just takes off straight away. None of this give it a shake to kick it over. None of this blow the balance wheel. None of this, it's just a little bit of a whine and bang, it just jumps to life. But she's uh, she's obviously been fairly well maintained. And then I don't know what happened. If it, it sort of looks like heat damage or something like that. I cannot get that off. Um, but yeah, this is uh, just an interesting little thing that I found on one of them that I've, I've seen on YouTube um and stuff like that and you don't really see it that often and then i've seen it here so i thought i'd better show you uh, show you all that